Let's learn how to do problems that involve supplementary angles. So supplementary angles are angles whose sum is 180 degrees. So when you add them up, you get 180 degrees. Now, a lot of times problems that deal with supplementary angles won't use that word. You're just going to have to know that they're supplementary. So how will you know? One way is if you see a straight line. So any straight line, any straight angle is 180 degrees. So the angles that make up that line, when you put them together, those are supplementary angles. So if I was trying to find the measure of angle ACB, the first thing I need to do is figure out what X is, right? So the way I'm gonna do that is to build an equation. So how can I build an equation with the picture I'm given? Well. I know that these two angles are supplementary, that they add up to 180 together. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that equation. This first angle plus that second angle together equal 180 degrees. So if you can come up with that equation, you're done with probably the hardest part of these problems. So now we just need to solve this equation. So I see like terms, so I'm gonna combine them. So 3x plus 6x is 9x. So now I have 9x equals 180. One step equation, I'm gonna divide by nine on both sides to get x is equal to 20. Now be careful, the problem didn't ask me what x was. I had to figure out what x was so that I can solve the problem, but x is not the final answer, right? My measure that I'm looking for is ACB. So when I look at ACB, I see that the measure of angle ACB is 3x. So what I'm looking for is the value of 3x. Well, now I know what x is because I solved my equation. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that x in parentheses with the value that I found it to be, which is 20. And when I multiply three times 20, that's gonna give me the measure of the angle I was looking for, which is 60 degrees. All right, one more example. So again, I have supplementary angles, and how do I know? I know because these two angles together make a straight line, and a straight line is always 180 degrees. So as I look to try to build an equation, I'm gonna do it by adding these two together, those two expressions that represent those two angle measures, and setting them equal to 180 degrees. So 2x, that first angle, plus 30 plus x, that second angle, together will equal 180 degrees. And now I just have to solve the equation. So I'm looking for those like terms. 2x plus x is 3x. I'm gonna bring down that plus 30, bring down my equal sign of my 180. I have a two-step equation in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract 30 from both sides to help me get that x closer to being by itself. So I have 3x equals 150. Now I'm gonna divide by three on both sides to get x is equal to 50. If the problem was find x, I'd be done. My answer is 50. However, for this particular problem, it was not. It was find the value or the measure, sorry, of P and M. So angle P and M has a value of 30 plus x. So what do I have to do? I have to take the value that I found x to be and substitute it in here. So if x is 50, then the value of this expression here is 80. 30 plus 50 is 80. So this angle here is 80 degrees. All right, here's a practice problem for you guys. Go ahead and give it a try. The answer to it will be in the description of the video below. So scroll down, see if you got it right. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment.